Hey everyone and welcome to Shorty Street Scandal, where each Sunday I share with you my favourite Shortland Street moments of the week. Heartbreaking moment of the week. This week there was an extremely heartbreaking moment on Shortland Street. Wendy made some pies with her family's initials on them, but Murray and Dana didn't even care. They took some pies without looking at them and went to work. But they got the wrong pies. And Wendy and Evan got the pies with Murray and Dana's initials on them. Heartbreaking. What's this? It's a pastry M for Murray. I've got D for Dana. You actually put our initials on the pies. Well, thank you for noticing. Later on in that episode, Wendy suggested that they get a staff whiteboard for the hospital. But Nicole gave Kylie credit for it. I guess we could have a logbook. A whiteboard. Whiteboard's better. It's more in your face. You're less likely to walk past and forget to write something down. Thank you, Kylie. Good stuff. By the way, I'd love to know a bit more about all these nurses we've never seen before in the scene. Who are they? What's their story? I'd love to know. Unnecessary scene of the week. This week, TK proposed to Sarah, but let's be honest, it was a terrible proposal. Would you do me the honour? of becoming my wife. Again? Is is this you having a laugh, honey? Well, no, I'm not having a laugh. I love you. Well, say something. Say yes. 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 I didn't care and none of the characters cared. Is there not getting married? Sorry. <laughs> Up late working, not enough sleep. Thank you. But then they eventually got a surprise party because everyone was feeling guilty for them. I'm just... <gasps> How did you get in? We have our ways. How did you guys get in here? <laughs> How did you get into my house? Stupid Bella moment of the week. So this week, Dallas really wanted Bella to have a baby with him, but instead, Bella got him a baby rabbit. Okay, please tell me you did not steal a baby and put it in a box. Don't be ridiculous. They bought her and she cost a bit too, but she is so cute. Okay, I'm officially freaking out. So when Dallas wished for a baby, a baby bunny. Unfortunately, this baby bunny brought back some very sad memories to Dallas that he had repressed for his whole life. Yeah, she's adorable and that's the trouble. You get attached and then the worst happens. The worst? What are you talking about? Look, I was seven. Captain Carrot was black and white and cheeky and fun. And my auntie's dog thought so too. Anyway, for some reason they made even come all the way over to their house to bring one stuffed toy which was pretty stupid. That was pretty much Evan's only scene in this whole week. We've got a little snuggle wuggle bunny wunny. Oh, can you guys stop, please? You can go now. Favourite storyline of the week. This week, Leanne kept complaining and saying that she was bored of looking after Michael, which was pretty mean. I'm bored. Uh, you're bored? <laughs> you should try being me, mister. Stuck here every spare minute. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I went out anywhere. You go to work nearly every day. So Leanne took Michael to a bar and started flirting with a man named Nev. When there's a goddess like this in a room, I can hardly string a sentence together. <laughs> Leanne then stole Michael's tablet and then ignored him for a while. Then everyone started saying to Leanne that he was a saddo and she shouldn't be hanging out with him. I know you're on your own, but picking saddos up in bars, I'd hate to think you were that desperate. So then Leanne started pretending that she wasn't hanging out with him. Now this scene that I'm about to show you was my favourite scene of the week. It was very well done. See there's a new comedy opening tonight. I love a good comedy. Me too. Nothing like a good laugh. It'd be even better if I was sitting by a gorgeous blonde. Wouldn't it be a coincidence if we were both there at the 6.30 screening? An excellent coincidence. Thanks for being so sweet to me, Nev. After the way I treated you last night. Oh. You guys order. Well, I think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next Sunday, and hopefully, I'll have a new interview with another Shorty Street character at some point soon. Go check out my Facebook page um, where I'll have some deleted scenes. So, thank you very much. I will see you soon. Goodbye. Is it you or is it me?